What's going on, people? Ranger with Raw Boxing TV, man. I've been gone for a minute, peoples. I've been hitting these roads, you know, uh, being a commercial driver. Especially when you're working for certain companies, it's, 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 it's a bit time-consuming, time-demanding. And so um, it's been kind of hard to even try to do the videos I normally do mainly because I'm out here on the road um, I should be back Thursday home I was in Dallas Jacksonville Florida I'm on my way to Jersey City New Jersey then I'm back to Jacksonville and then I'm gonna head over to the house after that a lot of let's let's talk about a lot of things man first off my condolences to the Mayweather family. We lost Roger Black Mamba Mayweather. 2020 has been the year to get rid of Black Mambas. We first loved Kobe. We, we lost Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba of basketball. And now we lose Roger Mayweather, the Black Mamba in boxing. There's a lot of things going on for Americans. There's a lot of things going on for humans, period. I mean, this coronavirus um, is, 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 is putting everything in, in a different perspective. Hopefully, it's teaching us to appreciate the things we used to take for granted once all of this stuff goes and passes on. It's kind of crazy to me that, uh, however, a lot of boxing sports are, are, are calling it off because if I was a boxing promoter, I can see myself taking advantage of the fact that there is no fights, that there is no sports, period. There's no soccer, there's no football, there's no basketball, there's no hockey, there's nothing going on. I would take advantage of that and I would try to put a fight exclusively in pay-per-view exclusively on pay-per-view you know how many people will actually buy that fight just because they desperate to watch some sports see i'll be i'll be taking advantage of things like that and you're gonna have to excuse you know me camera moving blah 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 i'm in the bunk of my truck right now and um i have a team driver we're actually we're actually taking uh things to uh all of the ups's from Texas to Jacksonville, Florida to New Jersey. So that's what it is when you work for a Fortune 500, but hey, a six-figure salary, you got to do it, you know? Uh, so, hey, real quick, it's been tough for Mayweather, man. I was thinking about that today. Now, you know, a few weeks ago, he loses his baby mama, and you can see on his Instagram how all he does is for 24 hours, every five minutes, he's posting a picture of her. Call her my love, my everything, my whatever, my whatever, my whatever. And then two weeks later, he loses his uncle. The guy that took care of him while his dad was locked up, the one that took over him. The one that saw him really and truly grow was a professional fighter because it wasn't until later in his career that his father came back into his life. So, yeah, it's kind of, it kind of be, it's kind of tough, man. And I tell you what, this is, this is going to, this, I've been seeing on Twitter this disgusting trend talking about, oh, Floyd Mayweather sacrificed both of them for Illuminati. All this BS, bro. Seriously. Y'all, see, this is how insensitive, filthy humans are, man. Y'all taking advantage of situations like this just to post your little jokey comments and, and push your little agendas about Illuminatis and stuff. I mean, people, where's your humanity, man? <clears throat> Like, do you think it does anybody any good? Does anybody any benefit for you to post something saying that Mayweather had his ex killed and his uncle, who's been dealing with health issues for years because of the Illuminati? That's how stupid people is nowadays. It really, it, 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 you know, I, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. I do not understand it. 
coronavirus taking away boxing coronavirus taking away sports in general coronavirus like the state of Indiana which is just up north of me just today the governor activated the National Guard and I'm like why the National Guard is basically basically to take control of like martial law stuff and and disasters Golden Gloves Indianapolis was canceled boxing gyms are getting shut down temporarily of course Fighters are having to stay home, work from the house. When I get back, I'm going to put some work in with my brother-in-law to keep him sharp. He was actually due to fight coming up in the, in the Indianapolis Golden Gloves. So, it's, it's, this is, I really hope, again, I'm going to say this, I really hope that after this goes away, our outlook in the world, our outlook in the things we take for granted every day changes from time outside taking exercise, from time with the family, from food. Every time you're going to throw a whole plate of food, you think about that. Every time you're going to use 20, 30 sheets of toilet paper to wipe your crack, you think about that. It's crazy. It really is. Canelo Alvarez, nothing's been announced. However, they did say today that a trilogy with Triple G has been agreed to. Me as a boxing fan, I don't care too much for that trilogy in particular. See, it's not like Deontay Wilder and Fury where you still got two fighters that are in good health, good age. Can any... Any boxing fan, honestly, tell me that Triple G is the same fighter he was in the last two fights. He isn't. He just isn't. I think Canelo would destroy him on this third third fight. I'm not very interested. Too, a little too late in my taste. This is one of the things of boxing that, that, that gets me mad is... You wait this long to make these fights just so that a fighter can come with an advantage or just to collect more money. And by the time the fight happens, it's like we're not getting the same fighters. Yeah, we might get the same Canelo. Canelo is a kid. But we ain't getting the same Gennady. I'm, I don't care too much for this third fight. I really don't. First, Canelo going to have to fight with Sounders. And uh, then he going to fight GGG. Whatever your thoughts are on that fight, you know, feel free to drop the comments on, on the comments section. Because, again, I'll say I'm not too impressed about that fight. The Glovegate situation with Tyson Fury. You know, I've stayed outside of this uh, whole ordeal. Looking at every video that's being posted, some from some good friends of mine, some from people I can't stand. And um, I'm always going to agree or disagree with friends of mine. It's, it's not going to change. Because we're not the same peoples. We don't have the same thoughts, same outlook, same way of looking at things. I still can't get the point. See, when you mount an accusation, what is the point? And the reason I say what is the point is because this did not start it after the first fight. This particularly started after Tyson Fury TKO'd Deontay Wilder. So I've been staying outside of that situation. However, Thursday, I'm going to make my video on this. You know, whether it cost me my friendship with some uh, YouTube channels or whether it reinforces my friendship with YouTube channels, it doesn't matter. I'm here 
to be honest to you. I'm here to give you exactly what I think in raw fashion. That's the reason I named my channel Raw Boxing TV. Because I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. If, if I'm thinking it in a certain way, that's the way I'm going to give it to you. So I'm going to deep real hard into this thing called, quote unquote, glove gate. And, and I'm going to just go at it, man. Because there's a lot of ridiculous things going on. So that's all I got for now. I just wanted to show up, report. I apologize for not uploading any content. I've been busy out here, guys. You know, everybody's quarantining, but us commercial drivers, we're still out here at the risk of the virus. Um, they, they, they say, you know, don't touch nothing, wash your hands. Uh, don't be around 10 people or more. But that's exactly what we're doing for for work in order to be able to keep the supplies coming in. So uh, if you're a truck driver, salute to you. Uh, I know the feeling. It's my job. I respect you. I hope all the best to you. Protect yourself. Don't be ashamed to wear a mask. Don't be ashamed to wash your hands every time you touch something. And just take care of yourselves. If you're a YTBC follower, pick up a book and read. <laughs> pick up a book and read. Raw Boxing TV. We out. We see you Thursdays.